Hello everyone, I am Daryl Bowles. And I'm Amber Hurstman. And this is video number two in our Stardew Valley series. Which is more than a farming simulator. Yes indeed. In our previous video, we got through setting up your first farm. Today's video is going to be the drudgery of your first day on your new farm. I'll be going through and showing you how to clear out weeds and twigs and other items. As previously mentioned for navigational reference, you will use the A, S, D, and W keys. A and D go left and right. S and W go up and down. There are new keys for simulating left and right clicks. Shift Enter and Control Enter. A note about using Control plus Enter, the Control acts as an interrupt key for screen reader users. So be careful when using this during dialogues. With that being said, we're going to jump right into our Access for All farm and get started with the clearing process. Co-op button, low button, new button. I went to the low button, which by default is what you have. Hours play colon 2017, day colon day 16 of winter, year one. If you have not created a farm, please see the previous video posted for instructions. Going to go down. Access for all farms selected. Farmer colon analyst. Money colon 500. Hours play colon 007. Day colon day one of spring. Year one. I believe this is the one that we want. Going to press A. You want to delete your other access one or keep it? I mean, I guess I can delete it. I might as well show them how to do this really quick. So go down one. we're going to go down one by pressing S. Why is it not reading? Access farm selected. Uh, Farmer colon barrel. Money colon 340. Hours play colon 203. Day colon day 8 of spring. Year 1. Go up one? Yeah. Access for all farm selected. Farmer colon atlas. Money colon 500. Hours play colon 007. Day colon day 1 of spring. Year 1. Because you have two of them. I see. Now I gotta figure out which one we're keeping. The one above that? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna delete this one. I have two access for all farms. I'm gonna delete one of them. So to delete a farm, we're gonna... Highlight the one that we want, which we just did. I'm going to press D to go to the right. Delete access for all farm. I'm going to press the left bracket key. It's not going to work, apparently. Let's try Control Enter. Shift Enter. Access for all farm selected. Okay, Farmer colon access. Money colon 500. Works. Hours late colon 007. They colon day one of spring. Year one. I'm going to go to the left with the A key which is the yes button. And um, this is your con their confirmation level. This is your confirmation dialog. Uh, currently, the mod does not read that, but we're going to go ahead and hit the it just did. left bracket. No, it didn't. Oh, it didn't? It, it didn't, didn't actually read the choices here. Oh, okay. But it read the prompt. That's what I thought you meant. So we're going to go ahead and select the left bracket it takes. There it goes. When you hear the noise that sounds like a trash can being closed, that tells you that something is deleted here. So, we are back at the top of our list. Access for all farms elected. Farmer colon atlas. Money colon 500. This Hours late colon 007. Day colon day one of spring. Year one. And we're going to load this. I have now switched to my controller. But note that you'll find your farm and you'll press, press left bracket key. Bed. And the first thing that you hear when you wake up is your bed. I'm going to press the menu button on my controller. You can hit the E key on your keyboard the top wood. to take you to your inventory. If you are playing a single player farm, Going into your inventory will pause time. If you are playing on a co-op or a multiplayer farm, time will continue regardless. Now, 
we have to do some clearing out of, of items here, of stuff in the farm. But let's take a look at what we have in our inventory to begin with. And you will be dealing with your inventory a lot. So, your inventory... Oops, you went to the left. You were already on the first spot. Thing. Your inventory is set up at, at first as a single level of items. It's a horizontal list. And the more uh, levels that you have, you uh, the more items that you have. Oh, use the dig until soil. You went down. Axe used to chop wood. So the axe is your first item. Oh, use the dig until soil. There is your hoe. Watering can used to water crops. It your can be rebuilt at any water can. source. Yep. Pickaxe used to break stones. Your pickaxe. Scythe can cut grass into hay if you build a silo. And your scythe. You will need... We won't need the watering can so much on this first day. But we will... Well, not at this present moment. Not at this present moment. So what we're going to do is we've looked around our inventory. I'm going to show you how to organize the items to your preference. Because we have the axe here. Oh, the axe used to chop wood. Oh, the and we have the hoe here. But I don't want the hoe at present next to my axe. I want my scythe actually as my first item. You and can I want, leave your, your axe as the first item. I want my axe as my first item, but I want my scythe and my pickaxe next. So I'm going to go to my scythe. Watering can use the water crops. The pickaxe used the break stone. Scythe can cut grass into hay if you build a silo. And you will press the left bracket key to select this. And then you're going to go to your left. Pickaxe used the break stone. Watering can use the water crop. Oh, use the dig until soil. Back to your hoe. And you're going to press the left bracket key again. Scythe can cut grass into hay if you build a silo. And just visually, that's placing it into the slot in your inventory. And now attached to your cursor is your hoe. This is important because if you have a an item attached to your cursor in this way, you cannot exit the inventory. Uh, go ahead and try. If you exit the inventory, this happens. That noise means your trash can is activated. It's saying, do you want to throw this away? No, we do no, not, we want, do to not want to away. throw this away. So I'm going to press the... Just move away from it. I have the chop wood. I've, mo I've moved away from the item now, so for, we should from be... From the trash can. You moved away from the trash can. You have yes. the item still. I have the item still. You just move away from that trash can. So... Where we want it to be, but we have to set the hoe down in the other adjacent slot. Watering can use the water crops. It can pick use the break stones. Right there. If you don't hear your screen reader speak, that tells you that it is a blank spot. We are going to hit the left bracket key again. Oh, use the dig until soil. Now, if we want to exit our inventory, but you want to move bed. your pickaxe first we're able to do so. So this is sort of a three-step process. Let's go back into our inventory with the E key. Use the chop wood. Let us move to the right with our D key to find the item that we want. Silo can cut grass into hay you if you build a silo. You your watering can and grab Watering can use the water crops. It can be refilled at any water source. the watering can here with the left bracket key. There we go. I don't know why this keyboard won't, it just will not take for some reason. I want to switch, pickaxe, the pickaxe. Stones. switch it with my pickaxe, so I move to the right with the D key, and I'm going to press the left bracket key again. Watering can use the water crops. That's it can be refilled at any water source. That switched it. Now it's still attached to the cursor. The pickaxes. The pickaxes. So I can't leave the inventory. There's the blank spot. I moved back once with the A key. I'm going to press left bracket. Pickaxe use the break stones. There we have it. It's all organized, just like that. All right, now I'm going to hit the escape key, or the E key again, sorry, to get us out of here. Bed. There we go. And we need to find us a- Now, show them how time has, has paused. Check what time it is. Now, we're going to see what time it is. Time is 6.40 a.m. It is Monday, 1 of spring. Back to the top one. It is 6.40 a.m. That took us about three minutes. And... 
if we were not in our inventory organizing things, time would have moved on. The Q key is how you check what time it is, but this doesn't just tell you the time. It tells you what day it is and, and the season that you are in. And day is very important because there are certain things that are not available on certain days. Tuesday, for example, you cannot go to the carpenter, Robin, or to purchase animals uh, with Marnie because both of them are at the are at Pierre's store in the in Pierre, Caroline, and Abigail's home, um, participating in the aerobics class with Caroline. And Wednesdays, at least until the community center is rebuilt, Wednesdays, Pierre's shop is closed. Pierre's shop is the seed shop, as it is called, uh, when you enter it. And I don't think we'll be entering that today, but let's get on with this, shall we? We're going to hit the E to exit. Bed. We are now out of our inventory. We are in our bed. We need to find a chest that will allow us to get some seeds to start planting. I want to go ahead and get those first. Red, red cottage rug. So I'm going to red go to my rug. left. And I'm just tapping the A key here. There are no footsteps. Colliding. We have collided with something. I'm going to now go down. House plant. There's our house plant. The chest should be... Budget TV. There's our TV. That will We will demonstrate that in a little while. Too many Colliding. down. Let's go back up once. There you go. Colliding. Going to the left. You're colliding left. I'm colliding. So There's... To, it's to the right. Chest. There it is. I went up once you after forgot. that. I went up once after colliding, and you then I went to, to the up, right to actually. face it. You heard the mod say that you collided with something. When it says colliding in this room, you're going to go up. So you're going to tap W to face up. And the first tap of any of the navigational keys will face you in that direction. It does not move you in that direction. A subsequent press of said navigational key will navigate you in the direction that you're going. So if you're facing up and you press W again, you will move up. If you are facing right and you press D, it will move you to the right. So we found our chest, and I'm now going to hit left bracket. I think it's X. It might be X. Let's hit X to see if it opens. Yep. You received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor loses. All right, so we have 15 parsnip seeds from Mayor Lewis. I am now going to go and get out of this house. You want to demonstrate the TV before we leave? Yes, let's demonstrate that. We're now going to go to our budget TV. Budget and all I had to do was face to the right once and then go up. Well, and, you just you just went straight up. That's all it, you had to do. And it took us to the budget TV. I'm going to hit the X button. Select channel. Selected response. Weather report. Weather report is very important. I'm going to hit left bracket here. Welcome to Kozu 5, your number one source for weather, news, and entertainment. And now, the weather forecast for tomorrow. It's going to be a beautiful, sunny day tomorrow. That's good to know. Budget TV. Select channel. Selected again. response. Weather report. I'm going to go down with S. Selected response. Fortune teller. This is super important. Who I see a glimmer within my sky and orb. A shard of knowledge from the future. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Okay. Not too bad. It could be worse. It could be me. much worse. Budget TV. So we are done with this. Now let's get out of no, here. No. There, you have other options, and I also have, want to have a, a note about the TV. We're going to try this one more time. Select channel. Selected, selected response. Fortune. Selected response. Living off the land. Living off the land. This gives you general tips on how to play Stardew Valley. Let's see what today's tips are. Uh, today's tip is for first timers. Welcome to Living Off the Land. We're back again with another tip for y'all. Now listen up. Hey, said y'all. Yes, it did. This one's for all you greenhorns out there. Shop wood and search for wild forage to earn some cash while waiting on your first harvest. Budget TV. So basically, if you want to get some, if you want to get some cash, forage, 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 is what it's telling you to do. 
Um, and a note on the TV. Um, a note on the TV. There are some uh, channels that are only available on certain days. For example, one that's very important is every Sunday, you need to go up to that TV and find, listen to the Queen of Sauce. You learn recipes, and when you're eventually able to upgrade your house to the next level and get a kitchen, recipes are very important because they can give you buffs to certain skills. For example, Dish of the Sea will give you uh, a plus two bonus to fishing and a miner's treat will give you it's either a plus one or plus two bonus to mining and certain other things like that but recipes are also important because most of the villagers have at least one or two favorite recipes that they like so if you get them uh, as your gift giver for the feast of the winter star in winter uh, or if it's their birthday and things like that, you can just go to your kitchen if you have the ingredients and and whip up a dish for them and take it and warp to them and take it to them as a present. Yep. Um, and that's why it's always important to kind of reserve some of your uh, crops and things at each season because certain of them will be used in recipe making. The three most important channels, if you're not interested in living off the land, will be your weather report, your fortune teller, and the queen of sauce. So always, always check those, and that will give you very important information. We're now going to resume and continue, and let's get out of this house and do some clearing. Colliding. You you went too far? So go Colliding. find your house plant. So left. House plant. There's the house plant. Now tap to the right twice. We're going to tap to the right to face once and then to one. move once fine. to the right. Colliding. We're going to go down. We are now in our farm. If you'll remember from our cut scene, it's very the overgrown. Wood. There are weeds and everything. Weeds and sticks and rocks everywhere. Well, it's about time we start tackling them, shall we? Yes, it is. It's about time we start tackling them. So navigational keystrokes are the same. Well, let's let's get to work on this. Before we do, I want to talk about the hot bar. The hot bar is essentially a place where your most frequently used or most recently gathered items are located. All it is is it's your inventory without having to go into it each time. Um, everything is accessible. Uh, to you right at your fingertips. Once you start to expand your backpack, you'll have to use different keystrokes to switch the level of your inventory. Think of your, uh, think of your hot bar like a table and you're going along a row of the table to switch the column, but to switch the, le the row to go down a row then you'll have to use a different keystroke, and I'm not sure what it is on the keyboard. I don't know if that's been assigned yet, but well, it there's, is... Well, there's one standard. It's like tab and shift tab. I think it might be tab and shift, uh, tab and shift tab that do it. Um, I'll have to play around with that, but we don't need to worry about that at the moment. But your hotbar is accessed by using the numbers, the number row. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, zero. zero, dash, and equals are all because of the slots on your hotbar. Because there are 12 slots. So you can access your hotbar as of a recent update to the Stardew Access mod. It is completely accessible to you. So let's take a brief look and see what we have here. Scythe selected. Axe selected. Axe. Scythe selected. Scythe. Pickaxe selected. Pickaxe. Watering can selected. Watering can. Remember how we organized these in our inventory. And that's all we have so far. No, there's more. Hoe selected. The hoe. Parsnip seeds selected. Parsnip seeds. That's it. And that's it. So the first six items, the first six slots are taken. Act selected. Side selected. We want to go to our side with number two. That's how we organized it. And we're going to go down using the S key. Oh. There's stone here. I'm just going to move to the right. Twig. That's, we're going to deal with twigs here in just a second. But those are important. 
Tap to your left. Stop. But and I left. want... Which way? Face down. But I want weeds. weeds. There we go. And you heard the screen reader say weeds. I'm now going to use the X key. Or the C key, I'm sorry, to get rid of it. So let's keep keep going down. Grass, grass. There's grass. Weeds. We want to keep that. There's weeds. Hit the C key. What was that? Stone. There's stone. We'll worry about breaking some of that here in a second. You can tap down to get around it, though. Let's tap down to get around it. Weeds. There's weeds again. If you use the regular keyboard to navigate, you will find that the speech does get interrupted. This is where I highly advocate getting some sort of controller. You don't even have to get a name brand Xbox Rock controller. Or, you just... or, or PlayStation or whatever controller. There are plenty of generics out there. Yep. Go right, look. Because you're... There's, there's more plenty weeds of here. Weeds and we're going to clear these. Weed. And yeah. I'm just moving so. and hitting the C key to use the tool. You've collided with something. Water, like water. Ah, here is our water source. This is important. But you're also by a stump, so I'd recommend going up a tap and going left. Colliding water. See, go up a tap. You're facing that way. There you go. Now left. Colliding. Oops. I just don't want you to get stuck in that corner. Now down. Weed. There's more weeds. Goodbye. Weed. And more of them. Weed. I just threw some into the water, I think. Eh, stuff will fall in from time to time. Stone. Stone. Let's go ahead and break some of this. I need to switch to my pickaxe here. Watering can selected. Pickaxe selected. And that's number three on my inventory. And I hit the C key. That is broken. Stone. You should probably go to the right since you went past your water source now. Yep. Heading started quest. Whoops. I hit the F key. We'll talk about that on another... Sixth stage. Uh, something is at the sixth stage. I guess it is a tree of some kind. It is a tree. We There's more weeds here. Switch back selected. to the side. Hit C. Did I miss it? Five stage. Keep going right. There's more. Yeah. I've three stage. There's a three stage. That's tree. a baby tree. I'd cut that one. You want to take that water, one? Light, yeah, water. It's three illegal. stage. There it is right there. I'm going to switch to my axe with number one. Axe selected. And we're now going to hit the C key. I'm just going to hold, well, I'm going to hold it down. There goes that tree. And now let's take a look at our health and our stamina with the H key. Health is 100 and stamina is 93. 93. When you use your axe and your pickaxe. And your hoe and your watering can. And your can. hoe and your watering can. You will lose some stamina. That's Time is 7, cold is 0 p.m. It is Monday, 1 of spring. We're not chopping straight into every wood. tree we run into. Exactly. Don't chop trees unless you have to at this point. The obvious reason is because of the stamina but also because you want some of those trees to grow. It is around 7 in the evening. I think we've got the gist of how to clear things out. Um, I think one of the other things that, uh, that we need to demonstrate is, is, is making that first chest. So we'll, uh, we'll be back with you when we have enough wood. You need 50 wood to craft a chest because... Do you want to go through the hot bar and see how many things you have? Yeah, let's let's go through the hot bar really quick. I'll start at seven. Fiber selected. Fiber. Mixed seeds selected. Mixed seeds. Stone selected. Stone. Wood selected. Wood. Now it does not tell you how many wood you have here. You have to go into your inventory. Let's go into that. our inventory and find out. Hit the E key. Let's go to the right. Silent cut graphic axe used watering can. Co used the 15 parts 11 fiber raw material source from plants. Mixed seeds, there's a little bit of everything here. Plant two stone a common material. Four wood is dirty. Get flexible plant we material with a wide variety wood. of uses. We need 50 wood to make a chest. And we will talk about chests when they are made. But in the meantime, I think we have, you guys will have enough to navigate and to clear out uh, a lot of the weeds and things that are here. We will catch up with you when that is done. All right, everyone. We are back, 
And we have just acquired the uh, uh, amount of wood that we need to make a chest. So we're going to demonstrate that really quickly. Now, you, it's getting late. Wood. you don't want to just put your chest somewhere random. Either on your porch, because you can put one item on your porch if you go left, uh, left of your door. But since we usually will make more than one chest, Let's go back up to the door and then tap a couple times down to get off the porch. And then uh, you can craft it and then just tap to your left a couple times and place it. Colliding. Colliding. Collide door. So I turn to the right and I go to the left, face left, right there. Yep. Perfect. All right. So we're going to go to the crafting menu. I'm going to use the top one to the inventory menu and I'm going to go up with the W key. So you go up to your inventory tab and it's going to read the tabs to you. If I go to the right, skills, skills social, social, map, map, crafting, crafting. We're going to hit the left bracket key and now we are in our crafting area here. Once I use an item on this to change what's no. displayed, porch provides a modest amount of light, ingredients, one wood, two sap, just a place to store your items, ingredients, 50 wood. And I just used A to find it, and now we're going to hit left bracket. And there you have it. Now to place an item, we have to get out of this menu and we have to hit... You have to go to it in your... In your you have to go your, to it in, in, in the hot bar, and I think it's going to be the left bracket key. It's, and it's the very last item, by the way. So let's, yeah. let's hit E to get out of this. Mm -hmm. Chest selected. Chest. Chest. And it is placed. And now we're going to get back in here so we do not fall asleep. Door lighting. Door. Inside. Farmhouse entered. I'm going to go up twice after facing up. Red car, red car, red bed, bed. Go to sleep for the night. And we're going to go to sleep yes. right now. And the next video will be day two.